We actually should have just come straight here to see where the cubs were, but they're walking straight towards us. One of the lionesses has come back to fetch them, and I just said to Sebastian, I was like, there's lionesses here, they're fresh, fresh, fresh tracks. Hello, guys. Now, Lutch looking at her, she doesn't look like she's got any, oh, hang on, no, look at her paws. Can we zoom into her paws? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. And if we go up her legs, on her left leg, I saw a bit of blood, I thought I did. Maybe I'm imagining yeah. it. Yes. I yes. think they've maybe made a kill. I don't know where though, but uh, definitely around here somewhere. So, and that's quite exciting. So she's going to walk right past the car now. That's crazy. Hi, girl. Sure. When you sit like this next to a lioness as she walks past, you realize how big they truly are. Look at that. I remember, I don't have a door on my car, but she did not even look at me once. Right, now we need to turn around because we're not far away from the cut line at all. So I think that they've made a kill in Buffalo's Hook because that looks like where the tracks are coming from. So I just want to quickly update everybody again. I did just update them just before you came to us. Our stations on Mufazi and Gala, six month ones, and our mobile in a northerly direction on Mvubu Road. There's one on Lock Two making their approach. I think they're going to go back into Buffalo Sox. So I'm going to stay with them until they uh, cross out. Yeah, AFM tax, they look like they're going in that direction. Look at these two, look at them, they're playing in some dung. Hey, yes, rub your scent off. Oh, here comes one who got left behind. <laughs> Look at them all. They're so playful now. So I just want to turn my radio down. I have handed the sighting over to Tax and Rex and now, so I won't have to talk uh, too much more. We'll let them just make their way through. I think what I want to do is, oh my goodness, it's right on top of the termite mound. I'm going to quickly go forward because I think the youngsters are going to, they're obviously quite excited. I think they know dinner's about to be served. You can imagine if you've got children growing up or if you remember those feelings of how excited you were to have dinner, especially when it was your favorite dinner. And while well, the lions don't really mind what they eat, anything they eat is their favorite. So they're excited. They're just sitting up top here. Oh, they're gonna go down. I just want to see if I can get a nice view of them. Come on, other Uncle Huma cubs, up you go. On top of this termite mound. I've actually climbed up this termite mound before. It is so steep, but I think this one is planning its attack on mom. So we might see it race down. There we go. Ah. If you keep watching, the second one will probably go now too. As soon as mom turns its back, it should come charging down. But how great was this? I'm so happy that even if it's just a quick sighting of the Nguhumas, that suits me perfectly. I'm so happy right now. And I'm happy that they have a meal. We'll find out from Tax and Rex, and if they do cross into Buffalo's Hook, what they were eating. And I hope it's something big. Well, not too big, because I don't want them to not be around for for some time. Right, let me quickly... <laughs> still practicing, still annoying mom, but then coming back for some love. Oh, that's lovely. Look how big they're getting though. That's a great sighting. Seb, let's zoom around very quickly and get them walking towards us, I think, because they're, they're gonna cross out. So I wanna get a nice angle for you. Look at them, they're crazy. They're full of beans. Now, which way are we gonna go? Okay, we can zoom around this way. Down we go. Now, Michael, you're wondering if these cubs should be uh, following the adults when they go on a hunt. And uh, not quite yet. They're not old enough just yet. When, once they get to just over a year and a half or so, they'll sit and observe. Hello. Yes, uh, but I want to watch you all come towards me again. So they eventually will, yeah, straight into Buffalo's Hook. Let me see. There's my favorite little girl, I think. Hi, guys. Let's watch these guys come towards us here. Where's mom? Mom's up ahead. But isn't this just so beautiful? It really is so lovely to have them all moving around us. And there they go, right in front of the car. And I need to guide Taxon and them because they are going to miss them. And I can't hear them, they're on the radio. How cool is this though? But eventually they'll start joining in. I think not too much longer now before. 
who's still coming? Oh, there's one behind us. Sorry, I keep getting distracted. I keep hearing all these sounds and all the Nguhuma cubs keep splitting up. Other ones just ran and got left behind, obviously. Let me see if we can get another view down here. They've crossed into Buffalo's Hook now. And I do want to tell the guys, if you go to Tambudi Dam, you should get their visual. They're on the dam wall. There we go. There's a view of one in the distance, just sitting perched right up on the top of the dam wall. So this is just in Biffle's Hook now. Maybe they're not too far. Maybe they're right here. And that'll be quite good for us. Because that means then they could cross back at any time. And down they go. But we'll find out shortly from the guides. And now that's it. Now we have no more lions to look at. Very sad, but a short and sweet sighting, but a great one nonetheless. Hey, that was nice. High action. Quick walk, couple of walk pies. So just about brushing up against my leg. Let me just quickly find out here. Tax, tax for Taylor. Have you got visual of them? They're, they're at Tambuiti Dam. I've lost visual now. Copy. I think they have bumbered something. Will you keep me updated and just let me know what they did take down last night? There we go. There we go. So unfortunately our lion sighting is over. But it is just starting for some of the other guides and I hope that they manage to catch up with them because they're quite far away and don't lose.